Hey, we have Violent, Ken. And we have <laughs> Cyro? Yes. Cyro, yeah. Cyro. Reckon this is going to be very interesting because don't we love Ken and this, whatever this character is on Wi Fi, just doing K rule things? And already starting off with 42%. That's so crazy. Already yeah. going off to a very commanding lead. K, K rule is a neat like way his meta pro uh, progressed because K rule can do this and he can do this for as long as he really wants to and against ken it's probably advised because you never want ken to breathe on you so <laughs> or else you're taking 60. all right but unsafe I mean, on hit is that nice. tatsu so you're just gonna die and that was a very <laughs> weird recovery but i mean just already putting him back in the corner and trying to oh he can't oh he double jumped back air, then cancelled his back air into Tatsu and died for it. And, and died because of it. But this is still Ken, and he is choosing violence. He's coming in with these nares. He has to start putting on the aggression. He can't he can't play as safe as he wanted to prior. Though I guess double jump back air isn't exactly the safest thing. I mean, even if he wanted to choose violence, he couldn't even try that because with the way that Syro is just trying to keep him out is just very oppressive, or not even oppressive, it's just crazy because he's already on his second stock and he's at 91%. Like, that's so crazy. This is very nice patience coming in from Syro. Uh, down tilts? Oh, he went for the axe kick, but wasn't the shield pushback because of the Tatsu wasn't enough. Still finding the Shoryuken, though, recovering the situation pretty, uh, pretty cleanly. And is it going to be, is old. this going to be it? 52%, Probably. he was looking for a further extension. Good, uh, normally you don't want to DI in on Ken combos, but uh, it's a solid mix up from Syro getting out with 52, which isn't a ton, because you're K rule, like whatever, second or third heaviest character. You can survive, you can keep Ken out with all these crowns, which Ken, uh, Mr. Violent Ken, excuse me, uh, <laughs> just Ken is his father. The <laughs> He's having trouble getting around all the, uh, the crown and the blunderbuss as Hadouken will do nothing to, to support that level of zoning. So he's got to make the most of every time he gets in, and dashing up shield will only last for so long before the really solid initial dash. Repetitive. Yeah, and you can't sleep on the initial dash of K. Rule because he'll run up and grab you, like, lickety-split. <laughs> Honestly, so, um, already, he's at 170%. I really like, um, Violent Ken's, you know, survivability, because all it takes is just one little hit, and are we gonna see that? No, but he's already, he's almost at 200%, so anything could kill, but he can also kill um, Syro in just a second, and it'll, he will already be in the lead. Yeah, Ken's is patency it? for a touch of death is never to be understated, particularly with this much rage. Uh, falling Nair, Soft Nair is gonna confirm into basically anything he wants. Still has to watch out for some of his combos, as, you know, 200 rage, never mind. Uh, <laughs> fresh start, fresh stock, especially given the way uh, Violent Ken started, is you know a pretty solid position to be in. Okay, okay, Crown, he's been there for the homie. <laughs> to be quite honest, I would like to see um, Violent Ken probably at um, Let's Trap a little bit better, just because he's going to be in these situations where he has to get in, and if he can't really use that much pressure while he's at Ledge, then. It's, uh oh, and very yeah. nice kill coming in, very nice confirm coming in from Syro, taking the first game of the day. Yeah, it looks like there was a really, there was a massive disconnect between the way Violent Ken played on hit, as, as you were referring to, uh, versus when he was just like playing around, uh, playing like in neutral, playing his corner pressure and not like directly touching uh, Syro. Uh, Syro, like he played the patient game. He had to. He's a, it's a, it's a heavy, it's a big body heavy character against a combo character. He's got to take it slow. But Violent oh, Ken never really pushed all of that much because he it almost looked like he was struggling to figure out like ways to, ways to consistently get in. When he got those hits, it was great, but it was finding the it was finding the first hit that Syro really took all got him, uh, really made Violent Ken work for. Still, game I mean, two, and you're not going to a big stage like PS2, I wouldn't think. It's very hard, It's and it's very understandable, so, why it's so hard. 
it for anyone to get in against a K rule. But I would like to see, you know, what kind of adaptions Violin Ken can make. And, you know, if anything, it would probably be best to just take it e even slower. I mean, we don't want, you know, a, a Sinji versus number set in the first set of the day. But I mean, he definitely should definitely take his time. It would probably be a lot better than just, you know, playing at the same, you know, corner. Just taking everything, you know, with a little bit of a spice. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's a hard place to be in because as a as a Ken player, your entire win condition revolves around you landing like a down tilt or a nair or like something of the... Like something that you can cancel until your your full combos. But the properties on K rule, uh, not only just on the, the belly armor to power through things, but also just crown being a nuisance that it is just makes your potential combos not as clean as you want them to be. Still, there's plenty of ways around them, and I wouldn't be surprised here if we see a Smashville, that's actually the stage I was gonna say, uh, because you have you give K. Rule a whole lot less space to run, and you make your kill, you make your starters that much more deadly. Falling there into, yep, your plus. <laughs> it's the classic, classic uh, Smash Ultimate stuff, like I, my landing aerial is plus and you can't do anything about it. Still, these Hadoukens are not doing much for him. I mean, it is doing a little bit because he, I, with that, he traded with the cannonball. So it's not doing the most, but I really like that he's doing that at least to kind of stop some of the pressure that's coming his way. Yeah, I mean it in the sense of like, the Hadoukens is going to get eaten up by basically anything that K. Rule does. It exists to cover space, but you're not really covering space effectively because it looks like Syro is always holding the, like, he, he's maintaining the pace of the game. And it's things like that that are going to dictate whether or not uh, Violent Ken gets any sort of momentum building in his corner because uh, he can have those touch of death moments. But if he plays the game that Syro will want him to play, then it's only a matter of time for Syro walks away with a 2 up. Anyways, getting in, going back to our neutral exchange here, I'm trying to find a way in, getting the up tilt. Down throw. Not really chasing well on these DI outs. But he, but going in for grabs is important. As any, if, even with a character with a bad grab game, you want to uncondition. Unconditioned. You want to condition the player out of shielding as much as uh, Syro has been doing. He's felt very comfortable just holding shield. As Violent Ken's starting to run away with this, getting put in the blender. <laughs> all the all the down tilts. Yes, and very sorry. nice coming. Two stocks already, and still only at ninety six percent. Coming in with a really good lead. You know, already on the second game. Is that gonna kill? No, no, not even close. Going full, going full stage. Uh, he could have tried going for something like up tilt or maybe an up smash read. But mm -hmm. wow, that was some potent SDI from Syro getting out of the the second hit of the crescent kick. But he's got to make something happen. A down throw or forward throw uh, dash attack. Looking to cheese his stock. Back air, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't say cheese. Close. It's 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 K rule. He's gonna hit hard no matter what he does. Okay. Oh. Air challenges. All right. <laughs> All right. So violent Ken took trying to maintain his own distance now. Wow. I thought he crossed him up. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Grab ranges. <laughs> and you're dead. Oh. He doesn't have a jump. Yeah. No. Just dead. I mean, anything. It's anyone's game at this point. If um, Cyro can still, you know. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm, he really did it to him, huh? <laughs> Feels bad, man. That that was just that was just a very not a good way you really want to end off your first talk after having a really good uh, You had just there was I, I I hesitated. I hesitated on calling like oh fourth their uh fourth throw back air cheese. Because it, it kind of isn't, kind of isn't. That's some grade A cheddar right there. <laughs> so, it's... 
Oh, that's that's hard. But your the counterplay is just to not go to ledge. Like yeah. if you have K rule on ledge, just why are you standing there? That's that's unfortunate. Like what else is there to say? <laughs>